Hi, this is Ian Wright, and uh, welcome to Saturday Live Practices, and I'll just uh, chat for a second or two while people settle in. I know most people watch this later, and uh, quite a few people are watching it now, and um, which is nice, because I enjoy doing it, and uh, it's nice to just keep it going as time goes on. And um, On Monday, actually, I'm going to give a lecture at four four o'clock GMT on the wonderful world of remote healing and just talk about some of the research behind it and some of the ideas on how that actually works. It's a fascinating, fascinating subject that, um, you know, I'm getting incredible stories all the time and I'll just talk about some fun and interesting little dilemmas around that um, because people have been asking me to just discuss it a little bit and to discuss something, any of these things that we talk about properly, it takes a long time. So in order to warrant a proper discussion, we'll do that on Monday. So anyways, Saturday. So what I'm going to talk about is just very simple restorative practice where we allow our energy to come back to us because we put our energy from the first waking, when you first wake up, actually, when I first wake up, I like to lie in bed and allow and literally feel my energy restoring back to me as it comes in. Because, you know, in dreams and whatever, even in sleep, we our energy is all over the place. And I literally like to feel it like packets of energy coming back to me. And we're going to do that and learn. And with a lot of these techniques, it's for me, it's about becoming conscious of where our attention lies and also aware. So if, for example, you've just had a certain slightly fraught, say, discussion with a mem one member of your family or a friend or a colleague or something, and you're feeling a little drained afterwards, say, that often it's because you've put energy into that moment with that person and literally your energy is there <laughs> you've like kind of lost it <clears throat> your energy to that moment so sometimes it's about bringing a degree of consciousness to where your energy is and just the amazing thing and we do this when we're practicing the amazing thing about that is as soon as you have a conscious awareness then it's like it comes back to you. So we can lose our energy in time, for example, the future or the past. The future is about concerns, about worries, about planning, about... So it literally takes part of your energy, packets of, of quantal energy, into that potential thing that you're thinking about, that potential worry or that concern, that whatever... And we need to become aware of that. And equally with the past, where we're analysing something that has happened, we're processing, we're trying to work out whether that was okay or wasn't it not, or, you know, whatever. And so our energy is lost in the past. So we lose our energy to the past, to the future. We lose it in space as well, to where people are, you know, part of your energy is with say a loved one you're concerned about and there's nothing wrong with that at all it's beautiful but if we bring some awareness to those kind of things it will allow us to restore ourselves and so that's what we're going to try and do today and if we can if you could just learn to at the end of each day say each working day even or you know when you come back and you're just allowing yourself to relax, just to bring your conscious awareness to what we're going to do. And it can be highly restorative. There are millions of different restorative practices, but this is one of them and one I, I personally particularly like. So get yourself comfy and uh, we'll work away. So just uh, your eyes to drop if you're happier for them to be closed. And just to relax. I mean, the amount of thinking of lost energy. 
how much tension do we hold in our eyes? And as soon as we bring our conscious awareness to it, that tension softens and relaxes and comes back to us and our eyes get nice and fluid and relaxed, especially if you're straining, reading, you know, thinking. Thinking takes a lot of energy, doesn't it? And bring your attention to your breath, to something that's soft, delicate, quiet in your breathing. And just allow your body to relax on the out-breath. And on the out-breath, just to lengthen it and let go of any tension that's built up in the last few days or the last day. And the wonderful thing about doing a practice, creating a practice, is it's a place to come home to. And so all these kind of stillness practices that we're doing, I'm doing on the course, etc., about finding this place to come home to where you can feel set, feel refreshed, feel restored, feel renewed. And then it just makes it easier to do life from that. So, and as you, as everything kind of starts to quieten down, just allow your awareness to think of any place, any person where you've almost left energy, where you've been thinking or you've been worrying about them. Or, and just, you don't need to withdraw it or pull it back. None of that is relevant. Just say, okay, I, I left. I was worrying about that person. and I was concerned. And, and then just sit there and wait. And just allow that energy. Because actually, it helps them. Because your concern energy directed towards someone actually isn't necessarily helpful. So actually you can you can change that and send that to support energy. And that's quite a nice, that's a whole different thing, but it's beautiful. Just as you acknowledge that and that person is enough and this little quantal packs of energy as it come back and it literally feel your energy coming in. We're very rarely fully contained in our energy. It's normally all over the place, scattered to the winds. But just becoming conscious a little bit will allow that to quieten, to soften, to change. And there could be someone else or a couple of other people. Just acknowledge that with warmth and that's it. just allow your energy to come back you're not taking anyone else's energy you're just allowing yours to restore to itself and just do that with anyone else who may be holding some of you your energy not by their will <laughs> And if you think about something you've been concerning yourself with, or some future event or future situation or future hypothesis, a future universe that you've created in your thinking mind, just acknowledge it. And as you acknowledge that, with warmth, no judgment, and just allow your energy to return to you from that thinking concern, worry, place, part of you. And if you're concerned or there was some thing that you were processing from a past, recent or far past event that's held your energy a little bit, acknowledge it and allow it to return to you. And you can keep doing this. 
key point is the consciousness. The key point is no judgment. The acknowledgement's enough. It's a fulcrum. And when we're working, we talk about fulcrums. And by acknowledging a fulcrum, if someone is beside themselves or way out in the stars, just acknowledging where they are seeing it, and there's a change. And that's all you need to do. It is the consciousness of it that is, acts like magic, actually. And you literally feel yourself getting stronger and your energy coming back. It's amazing how much energy we put out in every different direction. And as your energy starts to return to yourself, and it may be something you've actually just done, you've been working really hard on something, and you've lost your energy to that today, just acknowledge that. And allow your energy just to drift slowly on the tide, on the wind, come back to you like a slow, gentle breeze. And the energy feels restorative, nutritive. And just allow the calm to quieten into stillness. And that stillness that's outside and around you is connecting up with everyone else who is feeling that stillness, be it now or in the future, because it's forever now. And the more we do this, the more we deepen our relationship to it and with it. I wish you well. Have a good evening and tune in Monday if you want to for an interesting chat. Let's hope it's interesting. <laughs> I wish you well. Bye bye.